Saturday morning from Southwest Oklahoma. Crazy Postman here. So I am headed to Lawton again. I have got three firmware this time to go test. 137, 38, and 39. So, you know, may the odds be forever in my favor that one of these works. Let's go find out. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So I'm back at the Francis Energy and Lawton and we are gonna give this thing a shot today with three new firmwares. Here we go. Just a second ago, we got a big gust of wind and my whole tripod just moved. I, it almost tipped over, so I'm gonna have to watch that really close. It is so windy here today, so if there's a lot of wind noise, I really apologize. There's not much I can do. You know, Oklahoma, what can I say? All right, so that's ready. Here we go. Okay, we are starting the monitoring program. Okay, here we are. Here we go, guys. First try on 137, or 127. Things are clicking. Everything's clicking. I think it's charging. Let me go check to see. I'm getting 46 kW. It is working, y'all. This is it, y'all. Number 137 worked at this BTC power here in Lawton, Oklahoma. I'm gonna start it and stop it a few times just to be sure and unhook and rehook, but I think we're good. Good. We're gonna start the station. And we're gonna watch it on this side this time. Initiating. Stuff is clicking. The adapter clicked, and there it goes. Only getting 24 kW this time. That's weird. Let me check inside. Only 18. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna stop this and try again. So far, this is good. It has worked the first time, both times. Just one of the times it was low power for some reason. We're moving in the right direction. Okay, contact. Okay, it looks like it's charging. But we're still only at 24 kW. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna stop this again. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to install 139 and see if it changes anything. Okay, so far here's where we're at. I've tested three times. It's worked every time it started charging. So the first time I got full power, 
the second two times it capped at 24 kW so that's what I'm trying to work on right now I'm loading the uh, firmware 139 just to see if it changes the charge profile or anything it also could be this station there's another one down there that I can try out to see if it works at full power so still got some uh, trial and error to do let's let's keep positive thoughts I'm already a lot farther than I've been in the last videos at least it's charging okay here we go with number 139 think it's charging let's see what the power level is okay so 139 we're back at full power here 43 kW is that back showing full more power 36. getting 36 in the car so that means the battery heaters are running using some of that extra power okay let's uh Let's stop this and we'll start it two more times. Open. Okay. Looks like it's charging again. And we got high power again, folks. 46 kW, that's as uh, fast as a Model 3 can presently charge in North America on this uh, adapter. So let's uh, stop that. And I think I'm done here. I'm gonna call this a, a win. But all the firmwares worked, 136 might have had a power issue but I tried 139 twice and it worked both times full power so I think I think we've got this squared away at this BTC uh, power station here in Lawton Oklahoma I'm gonna run over there and try one of the TELUS power stations just to make sure 139 is still working with it before I leave but I think we're good here. So now we're on the other side of the parking lot. It's the same parking lot as I was just in with the BTC chargers, but these are TELUS power units. And I have never had a problem charging at the TELUS power. It's always worked, but with the new firmware, I'm gonna check anyway while I'm here. Since it's such a trip to get here, I don't wanna miss out on any problems. So here we go. And if you remember, I love these because of how thick the cables are. <laughs> oh, it's got a kink in it. Okay. All right, here we go. That's pretty good. I just worry about all this weight on this little connector there, but it is what it is. Kind of push this big thing under the car to get this to line up right. We're in front of a new station now. We'll see what happens. Well, stuff's clicking now. Gosh, that whole station was just not working right. Well, we're going to look you up, man. All right. Hey, thanks for Yep, good talking to you.
Okay. So, this one was getting full power. It's down to 110 amps now, but I imagine it was getting 120 earlier. How high did that go? It was 36. That's the highest? Yeah. yeah 36. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to start it a second time just to make sure it works. Com port is open. Authorized. Okay. Stuff should be talking here. Cable check, wait. Waiting for EV response. Zero X one. All right, things are clicking, and it looks like it's going to start charging. All right, let me talk to this camera since it's still down there. Poor guy, he's all scratched up now. So that second attempt was probably just a, a fluke, you know, because it did work the third time. It was just a normal communication error the second time. Those, those happened. And uh, like I said, that this station right here, it probably just needs a reboot. Um, it didn't seem to want to recognize when I clicked when I clicked my card here. I'll just uh, let the authorities know. <laughs> this was a successful test here. Over there on the uh, the other chargers across the way over there. Um, they charged I had every time was a success uh, I had two times that did charge at a lower power but I think that was a firmware issue I put the newest firmware on 139 and it charged at high power both tests and then here we are here at the uh, the TELUS power station and it is working you can see here I'm getting uh, 108 amps right now so so everything is uh, looking good here I'm gonna go ahead and sign out with y'all it is super windy out here again I apologize if the wind is uh, getting into the microphone there is nothing there is nothing I can do about that so thanks for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one Hey guys, another day, another firmware to go test. Actually, I got three firmwares this time. Or is it firm Y? Firm, 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 firm Y? Firmwares? I don't know. Firm I. It's a firm I. I got three firm I to go test. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, good Saturday morning from Southwest Oklahoma. This is your crazy postman. Holy crap, look at this giant. That was huge. It is actually pretty windy today, and that's what happens here out in the sticks whenever there's wind. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh man. Poor car. Yeah, you know, that's some big scratches on the side there. It's gonna look a lot worse when it's clean. Oh man. And it fell over again.
I don't know. I'm going to end up breaking that camera. Oh, man. That took a hit. It is all scratched up. And it's got mud on it. Poor guy. Save to file. One... 30 did y'all just saw that right dirt just blew in my car